Hey guys and welcome back to the CTFC Perspective. In today's video, we're going to be reflecting on Cheltenham's 2-0 victory over Oldham Athletic. We are back to winning ways in the league and we showed that, like I said in my previous video, if you give it your all and put in your performance against a bigger team or any team in general, but in this case it was against Manchester City, you can really use that and carry on and get the three points in the league. We did that in an emphatic matter. Granted, we did get lucky on a few occasions but we're going to go over that in uh, a little bit of time. But like I said, we managed to get the two goals, we managed to put the game to bed with a few minutes to spare as well. So we weren't stressed like fans until the very last minute, unlike the Manchester City game. But, you know, a win's a win and we'll take that every single day of the week. So the two goal scorers today were Alfie May and Andy Williams. Two decent goals, to be fair. One of them shocked us. And I uh, just got to put a tweet on screen now from a mysterious fan who decided that he didn't want Andy Williams on the pitch anymore. And then minutes later, Andy Williams whips this out of his back pocket. This put Cheltenham on their way to end their seven-game winless streak in the league. And what a goal it was. Michael Duff was very happy at the end of the game. Very happy that obviously it's the perfect win, a 2-0 win. Pretty safe and both strikers getting the goals. The other goal to get them both out of the way was from Alfie. May, of course, turned his man on the edge of the box, slotted it into the bottom right-hand corner. The keeper really should be getting more of it. Bilbo should be getting his hand to it, but... Like I said, it had enough power on it and it slid into the bottom corner. Here it is. Now we've got both of the goals out of the way, let's quickly get into the stats of the game. So we're talking possession, uh, shots, clearances, saves, all of that jazz. Here they are on screen. So Cheltenham actually managed to only get 43% possession in this game to Oldham's 57%, meaning one possession, Oldham were sort of in control. But if you actually watched the game, you'd see that we are more clear cut and clinical with our ch chances. Well, obviously we got two goals. But Oldham took a lot longer and a lot more build-up play to actually break us. Whereas when we got our chances, we knew exactly what to do. And it got to the point where even Alfie May was whipping out all the tips and tricks and body feints on the edge of the box. 21 shots, however. Just like I said, we were not waiting around. We were not wasting any time. We were there to go there, get the three points, and it was a great performance. 21 shots to Oldham's 13, with nine of ours being on target to their six. Granted, I believe two of them hit the post, though. So, you know, technically our uh, on-target percentage rate should be higher, but, you know, we're not going to take those. We had nine corners, once again showing that when we did get into their area, we used our time wisely. And they had three. Uh, another point to show that we were being very aggressive, however, was we fouled them nine times. They did foul us four times, but obviously nine fouls to four is nothing in comparison. Another quick thing to throw up there as well is actually the places in the league. This put Cheltenham into the playoff places once more, putting us on 40 points with an 11 goal difference. Oldham, however, are not far off. As you can see, they're in 15th place. Sadly, they have a not minus six goal difference, obviously not helped from today, on 31 points. And if they did manage to get a win today, they would only be four points off a playoff spot. A quick game recap now. So early on, Cheltenham actually did have quite a few shots and chances. Alfie May getting two shots off early on, the keeper making two decent saves. As the game went on, Cheltenham had a few chances, a powerful drive from the edge of the area and one from a tight angle from multiple players throughout the match. As well as this, you have to say, until around the 60th minute, just like the final third of the game, 
Oldham had some big chances. A lot of these chances falling to Dylan Bahambula. One of them, he ran round the goalkeeper and one of the uh, Cheltenham Town defenders, I cannot remember which one's which, I do apologise, managed to clear it on the line, showing great tenacity and defensive support there. There was three of them on the line actually ready to respect their goalkeeper and try and help them out in a time of need. As well as this, he had a one-on-one. -on -one. And thirdly, he had a shot from, I believe it was just outside the area, which the keeper made a good save. Moldem had quite a few shots from the edge of the area, but it was just pop shots. They were just going over and the keeper didn't really have to work too much. But one of them was from a long ball was being lofted into the box. And I don't know what happened with the keeper. It seemed like the keeper had an easy save. He almost fell on it. And it went underneath him and the keeper had to crawl it off the line. It was so close. I was like, no, this is such a Cheltenham way to concede. But luckily, we were okay. And the only other thing that sparks into my mind about the goalkeeper is he actually made a really good save. Cheltenham Town's Griffiths uh, from the corner, it came in and I think they tried to shoot from a corner. Might have been a fluke, might have been on purpose. But he managed to just claw it off the line. And like I said, two of the two ways which we could have conceded in such a silly manner. A bit like the goal kick uh, last week. And it's just the keeper was on his toes today and he put in a really good performance. If it wasn't for the goal, I would have given him man of the match. But he got very, very close. But my man of the match today, however, it might be a bit of a weird one. Because he didn't get the goals and he didn't obviously keep a clean sheet like the goalkeeper. But mine goes to Finn Azaz. He managed to last the full 90, which is very, very good. And he was controlling the game throughout. He's making loads of darted runs. He was quick on his feet, very agile. Many, many dribbles. And like he was getting past multiple players at a time. And even when he was just up on his own, he was holding it up, waiting for some build-up play, passing off to like Al Hime, where he could use his quick feet, try and get into the box and shoot. But like I said, multiple times, he was being treacherous to those Oldham defenders today. And what a performance it was. So there you go. My man of the match goes to Finn Azaz. So yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Once again, it was a great performance from the Cheltenham boys. And do not worry, I will be doing a video for Cheltenham versus Forest Green. The derby is about to go down. Cheltenham got the upper hand on the last derby. And sadly, last season and this season, we were not allowed to go to it. I do, I do so much to be in that ground for the, let's say, second leg, the second time Cheltenham can try and beat Forest Green or Forest Green going to get revenge. If you look at the table right now, once again, you can tell it's going to be a really tight game. Both teams have now played 24. Forest Green have got one more point. And because Cambridge have played the extra game, either team could go top of the table with this clash, uh, depending on if Newport... Obviously, Newport, Carlisle have games to play and they could easily overtake us by quite a few points. But momentarily, as it stands, the winner of the match between Cheltenham Town and Forest Green Rovers could go top of League Two. And wouldn't we like to see us being put top of the table thanks to a win against Forest Green? Yeah, that's about it, guys, though. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you haven't already, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button because it means the world to us. Subscribe to the channel so our family can grow here. Smash that notification bell so you know when a video goes live and you never miss one. If you have any questions or queries or anything you have to ask me, just please drop one in the comment section and it would mean the world to me if you could because I love answering them and I love having the social aspect between us and the community. Uh, once again, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. There will be two videos like this on screen very shortly. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.